even if I was blind, I would <laughs> and my heart can never forget your heartbeat, my lord. <laughs> what kept you so long? The king's business. Are oh. you ever going to be free from here? You are highly welcome, my queen. Your presence to the sacred shrine of Nguku is indeed an honor. And your gift is also amazing. Nguku is pleased with your generosity and has promised to ensure that you get whatsoever answers that you seek here. Tell Nguku that I'm most honored for his gratitude. Anano, Anano. It is said that only the ant holds the secret of the earth. Only the wind holds the secret of life. Ola, it is time to unravel those mysteries that has beclouded your mortal comprehension. Oga Karakeru, it is time for Nguku to reveal that truth that you seek. Osule, Osule, Osule. You are saying me kai game, me. Kubala no mano. Osi? Aye. Aso. Hmm. Hmm. What did Nguku say, wise one? Jebe jeba de yama, naba naba de yama. Hmm? Jebe jeba de yama, naba naba de yama. I'm afraid. The reason behind your childlessness is that without a remedy. Your husband can never get you pregnant, no matter how hard both of you tried. Are you saying that my husband is important? Mm -mm. The gods never said so. The wisdom of the gods has changed. I see how desperate you are for an heir. I see your worries and your pains. The God said, your husband can never get you pregnant, no matter how hard both of you try. Hmm, Yadiba. And for your generosity, I'll give you a solution. Hmm? Seek for a young, fertile man and sleep with him.
the God of our ancestors. What atrocity have I committed that you have sworn to punish me beyond mercy? This is six years now since my wife, the queen, became the same body with me, warming our matrimonial bed without hesitation. And yet, there has not been the cry of children heard between these walls, not even that of a child. I've been patiently waiting for a miracle to come, but it only seems like expecting the sun at midnight. How long am I to continue in this anguish and sorrow? How long shall I continue in this emotional torture and shame? Is it when age has paid me a visit, or death comes for its usual death? What legacy do I leave behind when I've joined my ancestors? Who shall be my heir? What legacy shall I leave behind when I am gone? Is it the one carved in a stone that will stand the end of time? Or that which is made on the dust that fares with the wind? What will posterity remember me for? Only a poor infertile king with no heir to his throne. May the gods bless my king. You are welcome, my lady. My lord, you look worried today. I was only thinking. Isn't it obvious that the sheep cannot romance the tree unless it wants to cure its body from itching? What more can have my mind occupied except that which eats it up deep inside? My king, I suggest you take it easy on yourself because of your health. I don't want to lose you. My queen, you won't. I thank you for always being there to comfort me, especially in times of need. Um, meanwhile, where have you been all this while? Um, I, I went on a stroll. I hope the heavens did well to your ravishing skin. <laughs> Quite refreshing, my lord. Mm. I know you must be hungry. Let me go and prepare your food for you. I'm afraid I'm not uh, hungry at this time. I almost lost it all. Owing to your emotional disaster, my lord, it's high time you stopped feeding your heart with worries. Feed your body with food. I am going to prepare the food for you and even make it more delicious this time. Promise me you will eat. <laughs> If that will make you glad, I will eat the food. Very glad, my lord. <laughs> Let me go and prepare it. Oh, I'll soon yes. be with you. I can't wait to eat that food. I'm afraid the reason behind your childlessness is that without a remedy. Your husband can never get you pregnant, no matter how hard both of you tried. I was blind. I was blind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and my heart can never forget your heartbeat, my love. <laughs> <laughs> what kept you so long? The king's business. Oh. You see, he's been soaking himself in an intoxicating wine. And as you know, I am the only one to fill up his cup in that heavy drinking. It's so sad. Oh, poor king, this childlessness is gradually reducing all of his manly values. Only the gods knows the reasons for every mischief. Okay, let's stop talking about him and talk about us. For our union is only in the near future. And I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to be your wife. I can't wait for that day too. I can't wait to have my palms adorned with the traditional way of marriage. Hmm. I can't wait. I can't wait for that day too. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm yours forever. <laughs> Call it. Obi DK. Um, bad luck for us now. Make sure you come to the gas waters tonight, okay? <laughs> I went to the guards' chambers to look for you, but you weren't there. Uh, please, sir, uh, Your Majesty, forgive me. I heard a noise outside the palace, so I decided to check the royal barn to see if the livestock there are secured from thieves and animals. I see. See me in my chambers tonight. As it pleases, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Majesty. I have not cleared the throne room as it is my duty for every night. Don't worry, I'll send one of the maidens to take care of it. See me in my chambers. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Wine is sweet. Sweeter than even women. Are we wait here? Drink and make merry until the moon sinks. For what is there than for a man to drink, merry, and wait for the claws of death to turn? and burn him like a fiery furnace, especially a man that can barely be productive, a man that has no future. I shall drink and make merry and forget my anguish or make her go drink. Yes, drink and turn away your anguish and pretend that you do not see the world mock you. More. More. Um, your Highness, uh, I, I, don't you think you are drinking too much? Shut up! I say shut up! I'm sorry, Your Highness. Go!
problem. Obidike. Obidike, please help me remove my bead. I can't remove it. <laughs> oh, Your Highness, uh, I. Uh, the... Please, just do it for me. I, I, I don't think I know how to do it. You will. Just try. Please. Your Highness! What? Your Highness! Your Highness, please, I can't, I can't. I can't, please, I can't. Why can't you? I can't. No, Your Highness, I can't. What is it? Do you want me to scream? I will scream and tell them that you're here to rape me. Because you don't want to do what I ask you to do. Your Highness, please, I can't, I can't do it. No. Your, Your Majesty, please, I can't. I can't. Do as I have instructed. Hey. Your Highness, come on. Highness. Hey. Let go of my hands, please. Your Highness, please let me go. Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, please, please, please. Your Highness, please. Please, 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 please. 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 I, I, I haven't done this before, please, I beg you, please. Please. No. Your Highness, please, please. Your Highness, please. Your Highness, please. Your Highness, please, please. Your Highness, please. Your Highness, please. Your Highness, please. I just don't understand it. You walked into the room looking like this and here you are this morning in this same mood. What happened?
all are you fine? Juma. That no man can find. I'm fine, people. Last night. How did this blood get on my bed? Ngoku, the god of our ancestors. Why? What have I done? What a shame! No! No! This can be! Good day, OBDK. How are you? I'm fine. Wow. Um, OBDK, what about the cowrie on you guards? You know I admire it most, especially when you have some man like you. The calories on my bed is not always there. It's not a must wear. We can only wear when we choose this, okay? Hey, hey, will be the key. You know I told you I love you. You've not said anything since then. How many times will I tell you that it is only Olama or never? Will be the key. Hey! She is the only one I love. for days now. Nothing is bothering me. I have been thinking and wondering Are we ever going to leave this place? I mean, this royal bondage. Are we ever going to be free from here? Free to be together. Forever. a little while, my love. We must be patient. Let's finish our service to the real household to earn a source of livelihood when we are out of here. Plans have finally ripped. The gods have elevated me before my equals. They have proven to the whole world that I'm a real woman. With this seed in my womb, they have brought smiles, hope and fulfillment. Not just to me, but to the entire kingdom. With the blessing of an heir, 
Abaka's words must be proven wrong. Yes, I have taken my own fate by my hands. Obidike. <laughs> I know that you are a real man. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> Your Majesty, sorry to interrupt, but I think you should see the king at once. And where is he brooding this time? In his chamber. I've heard you. You can leave. My king, do you want to kill yourself? Kill, did you say? Am I not better dead than waking up each day with misery and tears? Am I not better in the tomb than being cursed and abandoned by the gods? Do not speak ill of the gods, for they have favored than cursed you. Favored than cursed me? Yes. For being childless all these years. Favored than cursed me for having no hope of an heir to succeed me. Is that what you mean? There is hope, my king. Huh? The gods have heard your cry and have shown mercy to you. How do you mean, my queen? <laughs> my king, I'm pregnant. You don't mean that. My queen, you know you don't joke with something like it's that. It's not a joke. It is very sensitive. It's not a joke. Feel it. There is an air. The heir to the throne of Amway Kingdom. <laughs> My queen, you know you don't joke with something like this. It is very sensitive. May the gods be praised. May they be praised indeed. My queen, if this is true, I will forever adore you. For through your womb have the gods favored me this day and saved me from shame, sorrow and pains. Henceforth, I don't want you to stress yourself and the baby. Whatever you want to do, tell me on time and I will do it for you. Yes, my lord. Especially if it is what the royal heirs fail to do. Yes, my king. Oh, that's <laughs> precious. Queen, drink some. Mm. I don't want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. <coughs> uh, keep. Obidike. Your Highness. I want you to send words to Mokete, the town crier. Tell him that my wife, the Queen, has conceived. <laughs> Tell him that I said he should send a message across the entire inhabitants of Amoe and even the six boundaries 
to inform them that on the AK market day of the next moon that everyone including all the inhabitants of Amoye and all our friends and way wishers from other neighboring kingdoms should come to the palace and marry with us for this great blessing that has visited my household. Lest I forget, I want the three fattest goats from our livestock slaughtered for today's meal. Tell the owner and all the members of my cabinet to come to the palace and feast with the royal household today. As your majesty pleases. My king, <laughs> your joy is overwhelming. <laughs> I'm only afraid it doesn't get you insane. Insane, did you say? <laughs> yeah. I wish he could make me rave the streets of Amoya mad. <laughs> Honestly, you don't know how happy you have made me. You deserve it, my king. Oh, I don't know what I could have done without you, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing unusual. Okay. Are you done with my lady? Yes, your majesty. What is wrong with her? Is it fever? I'm afraid not. <laughs> then what? It's confidential, your majesty. Please, can I see you privately? Pregnant? Yes. You can't be serious, Ojengele. Your Majesty, she's pregnant. How come? Who got you pregnant? Speak before I roast your body and feed your flesh to the ravens. man has ever tasted my womanhood. Speak before I kill you with my bare hands. Except the king. What? How dare you? How dare you accuse the king? Do you want your head to go on this? No. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, please. It happened one fateful night. I went to clean the king's throne room and I met him drunk. That was how it happened. Have you told anyone about this? No. Come here. Come! 
everything that happened that night should remain between you and I. No ear. I repeat, no ear must hear about this. Else, consider yourself dead. Do you understand? Yes, my queen. Don't be stupid. Get out! Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. Excuse us. Sweetheart, you see, something has been bothering me concerning your countenance from the day the king told you I am pregnant. I was wondering if you're not pleased with the conception of the prince and the heir to the throne of Amuye Kingdom. I am overwhelmed, Your Majesty. I am overwhelmed over the good news. Hmm. Do you think, or do I say, that what we had in the past has something to do with it? I wouldn't know, Your Majesty, would I? I think you should... Um... I don't think I have anything with it, Your Majesty. Perfect conclusion. How does your queen look? As ravishing as ever. Fairest of all the queens that have treaded the earth. My queen. Hmm. Today is a special day. So I need to wear my special bead. Get me the box. Is my bead of power and authority. Who took away my bead from this box? 
No, no idea, idea, Her Majesty. Do you expect me to believe that the bead I used the other day and kept in this box grew wing all of a sudden and flew away? Is that what you want me to believe? Somebody should talk to me. Where is my bead? No, no idea. We don't know your ma Her Majesty. No. Please, tell His Majesty that I need to see him. Hurry. Yes, Her Majesty. Okay, I know I kept it here. Hey. America, go and tell the Lolo that I am ready and that she should hurry up. Greetings, Your Highness. I'm sorry to interrupt, but Her Majesty requests your presence. Tell her that I will be with her very soon. Okay, His Highness. Thank you. Um, I hope you checked your chamber thoroughly. Certainly, my lord. Does any one of you here have anything to say about the missing bead? I assume your silence means no. I hope all of you realize the implications should any one of you be found guilty of this crime. Yes, yes Your Highness. Obidika. Yes, Your Highness. Take him and him. Go and search your quarters and the maiden's quarters thoroughly. Search the nook and cranny of my palace thoroughly. Make sure the missing deed is brought here in a short while. Or you will face the consequences of this despicable act. Yes, Your Highness. Did you find anything? Not at all. I am not sure the Queen knows what she's saying because we have virtually searched everywhere and I've searched everywhere behind and I can't see anything Then, let's go to the maiden's quarters Okay, let's go Obi, can please hurry up Where's Ike? This is it This is Holomar's boss. Is this where you found it? Yes. <laughs> Let's go to the king. Calm down, my queen. Your Highness. Your Highness. Where did you find the missing bead? In Olama's box, Your Highness. Eh? 
What? Olamma. Hi. Olamma. How could you? I trusted you and promoted you to the post of the chief maiden. Why did you? I didn't do it, my queen. I didn't do it. I don't know what he's talking about. But you heard the guards say they found it in your box. My king, I swear, I swear in the name of the gods, I, I have no idea what he's talking about. I didn't take it. I'm innocent, please, my, my queen, I'm innocent. But, well then, no argument about this. Because I know how to find out if you are lying against the royal guards or they are lying against you. Young woman, step forward. Do you realize the consequences? Should you be found guilty? I'm innocent. I suggest you confess now and beg for forgiveness so that the weight of your punishment could be reduced. I am innocent. Hmm. I'm innocent. Hmm. What a rule in my What a work on a pecologic to go on for now, you know what? Igwe, eye of the gods. <laughs> it is time to reveal the truth. Now, step into Ungo's mat of justice and prove your innocence. Osula! 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 Ngoku de meji kuku! Obia? Eh? Ah! My eyes. My, my eyes. Obia? My eyes, I, I can't see. Obia? You see any other? What is going on? I can't, I can't see anything. I can't see, I, I can't see, I can't see. I can't see! I can't see this! <laughs> My eyes! Look at me! Young woman! I warned you! I warned you but you wouldn't listen! Now! You must face the doom which you invoked upon yourself! Is your child? Is your child? Who will be your child? Who will be your child? Who will be your child? My queen! Your Highness! I, I can't see somebody, please help me! I, I didn't do it! Igwe, eye of the gods! I have done that which you desired of me. Thank you very much. Go in peace. Go in peace. Your Highness! Your Highness, please! I can't. I... Abidike! Dad! She is hereby banished from this kingdom. Strip her of all her royal regalia. Take her into the evil forest where cursed people like her belong. Henceforth, she will have no dealing with any inhabitant of this kingdom. Obidike! Ghost! Your Highness! Take her away! Your Highness! Take her away! Your Highness, please! Please! My Take her away! My queen, please! Please! I, I, I didn't do this! I didn't... Wait! 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 
Your Highness, please don't. Say thank you. My, my queen. A good job. Like they say, a good laborer deserves a good wage. I'll reward you very well. Thank you, my queen. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty, for your generosity. Goku is indeed grateful. <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. I owe you a lot. Don't forget we still have a lot to do in the future. I wonder where she might be now. Where else? If not in the evil forest where she belongs. <laughs> After all, she has no place to go. She's only an orphan. <laughs> you are not only beautiful, my queen, but also evil. Abako, we are even. <laughs> we are even and evil. <laughs> I heard the good news about your pregnancy. Obago. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I owe you a lot for this. I don't know what I would have done without you. Your advice saved my face from shame. You can say that. It's my mom, my mom, my mom, You're so sweet. The end of my life. I would do anything for you, mom. What can I ever do without you? If only wishes were horses. The gods know it's best. But I've lost you forever, my love. Forever. Together. Where is the food? No way. Never let me Smile. And what about it? He! 
your eyes can charm even the goddess of you. Just like the at times I wonder what life would be without you. Since I lost my parents, you have come to be one person that means so much to me. Even, just like I told you, I grew up not knowing who my parents were. Because the cold arms of death took them while I was still a sucking baby. But since I met you, that vacuum seems to have been filled. And my loneliness is gradually fading with the dawn of each day. We have a lot in common. The bond that we share as orphans is unbreakable. Perhaps my jewel To what end will our love flourish? <laughs> Look. Till the sun stops shining. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been here? Long enough to see you brooding. Look, I know about Olama. I know that you two love each other so much. But you don't have to be like this. Do you believe she did it? No, I don't. But the question is, who framed her up? Mystery. It's quite a mystery. I wish I could unravel. The gods are never asleep. They would definitely exonerate her. I know. Would you? You're a good friend. Thank you for believing in her when everyone have given up on her. So, what do you intend to do now? Find her. Find her wherever she is in the jungle. You know, that's a good idea. It will comfort her in this time of affliction and pain. I just wish I could come. Alamma, 
Six, it certainly finds. It's strange the gods led me right to you. I'm glad you're here. Same here, my child. Obi, do you 
believe I did it? No. I know you are innocent, my love. I know. Thank you. Thank you for having faith in me. The gods are with you. They see your broken heart and tears. I know you can't see, but we are before Amuma Shrine. Eh? Yes. I know he led me to you. And he will certainly protect you from me. May the gods be praised. This place, henceforth, shall be my place of abode. For the gods have given an orphan like me shelter before its presence. What we have is priceless. No sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know it's up and it's no secret. What we have is sacred. Did you find her? Yes. May the gods be praised. So, how is she faring? What do you expect of a helpless young blind girl in the forest all alone by herself? Of course, her condition is terrible. The gods will protect her. Maybe I should go see her. No. You can't afford such risk, Ujumu. No one is supposed to be seen with an outcast, remember? We both know the punishment if you are to be found. Let me bear the risk alone. At least for the sake of love. Oh yeah, I love what we have is priceless. The sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know. It's up and it's no secret What we have is sacred And I love you I don't care what anybody would say I don't care, oh no Right in your arms is where I wanna be Come rain, come shine is from me to you. I will love you. Oh, oh. you love me. Oh, oh. I will go through oh, oh. this for you. From, me. from me to you. They can stop me. Yeah. They can stop you. They can stop what we share. Did you say you saw her all over him? All over each other. No, no, no. No, no, no. That is not good for me at all. They must be stopped from seeing each other. Else, that one will open his mouth and she will start running her mouth. And that will be a great threat to me. They must do something to stop him from that dangerous affair. Hmm? Mm. You must stop them now. Hmm?
You people should go in search of that fool. And when you find him, deal with him mercilessly. And after which you bring him to my presence. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. We have his prize left My sacrifice is too much From me to you They know It's up and it's not secret What we have is sacred And I love you I don't care What anybody would say I don't care Oh no Right in your arms is where I wanna be Come rain, come shine This is from me to you I will love you Is that you? Oh, I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. you. are putting yourself at risk. you. know it is forbidden for anyone to be seen with me or being with me. What matters is that I have you in my arms right now. Come on, I've got you some food. Come let's go, sir. You're under arrest by the order of the queen. So you've been seeing her? Now tell me, what has she been telling you about me? Nothing, Your Majesty. Don't lie to me. 
Or has she not been telling you something about pregnancy? No, Your Highness. Not at all. Don't lie to me. Because if I find out you're lying to me, you will pay dearly for it. Now listen to me. I do not want to see you near her again. Henceforth, no more visit. If you disobey my orders, I'm going to report your stupid act with her. And you know the punishment. Should the Igwe happens to know about this, don't take my kindness for granted. Because next time, I won't be. You may let me be. Yes, you are. Sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know it's up and it's not secret. What we have is sacred, and I love you. I don't care what anybody would say. I don't care. Oh no. Right in your arms. Where I wanna be Come rain, come shine This is from me to you I will love you oh, oh, oh. Cause you love me oh, oh. I will go through oh, oh. I am for me. From me to you They can stop me yeah. They can stop me They can stop what we share
Where are you coming from this early morning with all these things you're carrying? Um, I do get Samachi. Yes. Um, actually, I am coming from an errand sent to me by the king. Really? Yes. How are your parents? They are fine. Please send me this to their bed. Okay. What we have is priceless. The shocker. Come, 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 Sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know it's up in it's not secret. What we have is sacred, and I love you. I don't care what anybody would say. I don't care. It felt so real and scary. Please, I think you should beware of the Queen. Please. I'm afraid you. But do not be afraid, nothing will happen to me. You know I can't stand that. I will live for you to your last breath. By the authority of the Queen, you must come with us. What? Dominique, move. Go Mora! Ezekiel! What is the meaning of this? Huh? Move! What? Move! what you forced yourself just because you refuse to let that girl be I love her with my life your majesty and no persecution or torture from you Make me abandon her in that helpless situation. Quite a good confrontation from a dying lover. 
I have no time to bandy words with a commoner like you. Here, my last mercy. I would have reported you to the Igwe and the elders for you to bear the consequences of the sin you committed. But I spared you for one thing. When next you are sighted around her, consider yourself dead. Make sure he remains here for four days and nights. No food, no water. More torture. If I run a man Love her with all my life. Your Majesty the Queen, no persecution, no torture can make me abandon her for you. No matter what. It is obvious their bond is too strong to be broken. Is it not better I kill him? No. I can't shed the blood of the father of my unborn child. That will be a curse on me. Yet I can't risk him meeting her before long. She will run her wide mouth to him. And that will not be good to me at all. I think I know what to do. Yes. Where is she now? She must be at the same place at the ancestral forest. Good. It is time to finish her. How do you mean, Your Majesty? I want her. will reward you handsomely. That is, if you carry out the operation perfectly. No one must know about this. Just the two of you. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Now you may go. Go! Go! My love, you see. Are the pains reducing? Yes. Why are you back here? You know it's dangerous. Yes, I know. But no danger can stop me from seeing you. As soon as I was freed from the Queen's incarceration, I could think of nothing else but to come and see how you fare. Right in your arms is where I want to be. Come rain, come shine. This is from. 
How do I ever thank you for all these sacrifices? My love, what we share is priceless. No sacrifice is too much. Um, Obim. Yes. There is something I must tell you. I have kept it to myself for some time now. Okay, whatever it is, I'm all ears. I am pregnant. <laughs> Alama, that is not possible. It's not possible. Even the gods know I have never had canon knowledge of you. You are a virgin, so... It's for Mekas, the king. What? Alama, how could you? How could you do this to me? After all we shared, Yet you betrayed me! Oh, 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 Obim, wait. Let, let me explain to you. There is nothing to explain. There is nothing to explain other than you have been in a secret affair with the king. No, no, no. I, I, I have not been in a relationship with the king. Calm down, let me explain this to you. Olama. Please. Olama. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this shameless art. Thank you for making my heart bleed. Hope you please, it's not like that. It, you will have to calm down so that I can explain. I am not having an affair with, with the king. Obim. 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 Obim, wait, let me explain. Please, let me explain. What we have is priceless The sacrifice is too much From me to you They know It's up and it's not secret What we have is sacred Why have thou forsaken me? I don't care Why? What anybody would say I am in pain! My heart is broken. Right in your arms is where I wanna be. My heart come is broken. Hamuma. This is from me to you. I, I am shattered in pains and anguish. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? What? What have I done? I believe it's an offer, woman. I believe it. I have lived a life of suffering and pain and sorrow. Oh, why me? Why me? I'm <laughs> thinking. Oh, me.
Who is that? Who are you? Please, 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 you are still waiting. Go! Come. Ah, you are Where are you? You are still here. Come. So what do we do now? We can't just go back and tell the queen that we were scared by a mere old hunter. And Lose our price. No. We're not going to tell her that. Neither are we going to lose our price. We're going to go back there and tell her that we have executed our mission. She's dead. After all, their paths won't even cross again. Moreover, I don't even want her blood in her hands in the first place. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Smart idea. She has gone to meet her ancestors at the Ndende River we will drown her. Good job. I'm going to reward you. That was how. I found myself here. Strange indeed. I may not know you, but something deep down in my heart tells me that you are innocent. See, my daughter, the world is a puzzle itself. It is only time that has answers to all our questions. It is only time that we heal our wounds. Hmm. My name is Uduma. I am from Ngodo Kingdom. Ostracized for a crime I did not commit. My wife died in a strange way and I was accused of killing her. I tried everything I could to prove my innocence. But they will know who framed everything up. Just because of a last dispute I had with him. He turned the heart of Igwe and the entire villagers against me. That was how I found myself here. So sorry to hear that. It's okay. Um, you see, you are welcome here until fate will find a way to you. Hey. Yes. May the gods reward you. Ah, don't mention there is no problem. The gods bless you and keep you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. You see, if you are going to be here, just anything you need, let me know. Anything. It's a fresh Aha, Obi Dike. Your Highness. You said that there's something very important you want to tell me. Yes, Your Highness, there is something I want to tell you. Go on, I am all ears. Your Highness, I... I am not feeling too well. So I was wondering if I could take a day off. That's all right. Wait until you are strong enough so that you resume your official duty in the palace. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> Get 
My prince, how are you and our prince doing? I'm fine. The prince is kicking in my womb, mm. waiting for his journey into this world mm. soon. <laughs> I can't wait to have that. Me too, I can't wait. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> I'm very happy about this pregnancy. Mm. And you are looking very beautiful. Ah! I am no longer comfortable with his presence in this palace. Could only mean threat to me. He must be put out of the way. He must not set his eyes on this baby to avoid stirring settled water. No one is to be trusted. I won't take any chance at all. Sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know it's up in it's no secret. What we have is sacred, and I love you. I don't care what anybody will say. I don't care. I'm doing good. You see me disconsolate. I am fine, Chica. I am only meditating. I see. Um, I need you to help me do something inside. Um, you see, my, my boss is too stopped. That's too heavy for me to carry. Could you please help me? Sure. Thank you. Shall we?
is the meaning of this? Opie, you don't know how much I admire you. No, please stop. Is this why you called me here? Please, 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 please respect yourself. Respect yourself. <laughs> what is happening here? My friend. He tried to hurt me. What? Please don't mind this devil. She lured me into this place to seduce me. It's a lie. Strange. My queen, my queen just lied. We shall find out. My queen, my queen, my queen. Chica! Uh, that's a... If we should our houses. Uh, uh, the gods know the best. I like their courage. They are kind of The strong way. All these qualities has kept him. Not this one. Despite your physical disability. Uh. Hmm. Even when I would have journeyed to my ancestors. Uh. I want you to still be courageous as ever. Remember, I will always be with you. You are not alone. The God of Amuna, the God of Rumba, has been with you at this point. And he will always be with you. So be courageous. Please don't talk this way. Please. I appreciate all the love and care you have shown me. You are kind too. For taking me in and giving me a sense of belonging at a time I needed it most. Only the gods can bless you for that. Please. I know you're hurt. But don't talk to me for that. Okay, we'll be fine. My daughter, like I said, if wishes were... It's okay. It's all right. The herbs are, are going to make it all better. You know what I mean? I'll move the flies away. Okay. Try it. The herbs are easing the pains, I suppose. Eh? No. No. Are you sleeping? Now you do. Now you do. Chibu. Chibu. Now you do. Now you do. Now you do.
Young man, step into Mbuko's mat of justice and prove your innocence for this shameful accusation of sexually abusing a palace media. Hello? to see you live this way. But we don't have a choice. Where is this place? Where is this spot? Here is the boundary. I'm sorry, my friend. From here, you and your own. Let's go. Oh, 
It has been some time now since I lost Nayu Duma. The kind man the God sent to me as comforter. I have exhausted the food in the house. And there is absolutely nowhere for me to get any more food. Please, gods of my ancestors, do not let me and my baby die. I may have to resort to begging. Yes. Patience, Your Highness. Patience. The gods will surely see her through. Yes, yes, yes. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Push. Push, 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 Just need to be patient. Very soon, the gods will answer us. Oh no. We have waited for so long. For how long shall we wait? Huh? It has taken so long. We just need to be patient. I just hope all is well. All is well, Highness. Hmm? Your Highness. How is she? How is she? How is my queen? Has she been finally delivered of the baby? Oh, may the gods be praised. He said... I hope he's a boy. Yes, Oh, Mboku, Mboku, may you be praised forever. He said... But, Your Highness... Oh, Angela. But what? We lost the child. What? Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! 
What is the present health condition of our king? His condition is not encouraging. His faith lies with the gods. The death of the prince is about costing us another loss. A greater one. Because of our fathers. Why? Why the Igwe? What has he done? all possible means to get to you. Thank the gods I found you. What 
Allah. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. How is Obi DK? It's been a long time I saw him. Really? Oh, he used to visit you on a daily basis. Not until he walked out on me. And he never came back. Walked out on you. And he never told me. I'm so happy, please. Well, I missed you so much. That was how the king took advantage of me. And that resulted in my pregnancy. Did you try explaining this to Obi? I didn't get a chance to. Before I could explain things to him, he angrily walked out. He never came back. I would have helped explain to him, but it's too late now. How do you mean? I don't know where he is. What does that mean? He was banished from the land for an attempted rape on Nkichi. But trust me, he is innocent. I know he is innocent. Of course. would never do such a thing. I must find him. Juma, please help me find him. Please. Olama, like I said, it is too late now. I don't know where he is. Nobody knows where he is. Not to talk more of knowing his fate. Just the gods alone knows. You know what? I'll get going now. You know the risk of coming to see you. Be fine, okay? Thank you. You're a good friend. Hola. Obi! Obi! Would you? Obi! Would you? <laughs> Obi! How did you find me? The queen went out for a fee, so I stole the opportunity to come and see you and Olamma. Olamma. That traitor. That prostitute. That ruined my life. Obi, I understand how you feel. I met Olamma not long ago and she told me everything that happened. It's not what you think. I know you did not give her listening ears. Perhaps you can give me one. Please, just come sit here. And that was how it happened. You see, she's a victim of circumstance. Innocent and helpless. <laughs> Hold on. How I wish I had listened to her. I wouldn't have left her all this while that she needed me most. It's not time for regret and self-condemnation. I advise you go look for her, apologize to her and make up. Would you? how do I find her? I cannot see. I would have taken you to her, but you see, time is not on my side right now. Would you? 
thank you thank you for the sacrifices you've made to Allah and I may the gods reward your good heart you see what are friends for I have to hurry now I would have gotten you food and water but the one I have here the ones I got I already gave them to Allah so I'll see you soon okay What we have is priceless, the sacrifice is too much from me to you. Brother Rainbow, they know it's up in its mercy. I have come to you again. What we have is when I love you. As always, I don't care what anybody says. You have been everything to me. You have kept me all this time. You have sustained me. Even in the event of nine doing death. Amuma, you have been my strength. My source. I am only but a helpless Blind, pregnant, orphan, famine, hunger, and circumstances beyond my control is about taking me to an early grave. I beg you, Amuma. Look down upon me with mercy. Look down upon me and my unborn child. Do not allow this ill fate that has befallen me be the fate of my unborn child. Amuma. Please grant me a safe delivery. Great God, Amuma! He said, I took up, man, I ain't gonna hate you. Grant me a safe delivery! See my tears!
So that was how it happened. I'm so sorry to hear that. I am the one to apologize to you for my stupid anger and being unreasonable not to have given you a patient hearing. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I shouldn't have left you all alone in this affliction. Oh no. Right in your arms is where I wanna be. Come rain, come shine. This is from me to you. My heart longed for you so much. I thank the gods. The thought of you and our love kept me going, gave me strength. I thank the gods for keeping you for me. Now that we have found each other again, together forever. Hmm. I have been wandering in loneliness all this time whilst holding on to a little lamp of hope. You are my lamp of hope. You are that lamp of hope. You are my sunshine. What about him? The gods will decide. What we have is priceless, no sacrifice is too much from me to you. They know it's up and it's not secret. What we have is sacred and I love you. I don't care what anybody would say. I don't care. Oh no. Right in your arms is where I wanna be Come rain, come shine This is from me to you I will love you oh, oh. you love me oh, oh. I will go through oh, oh. I am for me. From me to you They can't stop me yeah. They can't stop me They can't stop what we share Man, I go. 
gonna hate me, no, no So how do you survive all alone since the old hunter you spoke about died? Begging. It's the only way I survive. It hasn't been easy. But it's the only choice I have. Yes. In fact, if we don't want to starve to death with our child, then we should get to work now. Which work? Begging. What we have is priceless The sacrifice is too much From me to you Did you hear? Head what? That Olama now begs at Mwangu Pat Which Olama? The one you know Olama your best friend Really? That's not all I also heard that She is heavily pregnant Onya koko chica again. You can gossip, eh? You better cut your tongue before it lands you into trouble. Biko, don't call chica. The rumor is everywhere. Inano, don't call my name. Continue. How dare you? You lied to me that you've killed her. Of course we did, Your Majesty. We drowned her. Fools. Cowards. How can she be alive if you had done your job very well? Now listen to me. Search everywhere. The forest. Bring her and kill her. This time around, bring the head to me. No mistake. So Majesty, please. Get out.
I'm tired of this Sacho. I'm tired. It's obvious you can't find her. How dare you fools! I'm sorry, Her Majesty. We searched the whole forest, but we couldn't find her. Impossible. She is there! Go and search further! But, but Your Majesty, what's so special with her death? She's only suffering the cause jungle. How dare you ask me such stupid questions! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Leave my sight, you cowards, and do as you have been instructed. Fools. Cowards. I want her and the baby dead wherever they are. Consider it done, Your Majesty. It is too late, Your Highness. She has already given birth, and it is a male child. The boat dwelled in the hut near the Ndende River. Then kill them both. What's see? You mean the mother and the child? You heard me correctly. As ye Moses yoga and Yagamije Manasse Mogola Jubulu, Naka Madria Ometelea Bulu Ometelea Bulu. O metele ya buru O metele ya buru Great 
a moment. The kind God of the rainbow and the rain. Who has provoked you? Why have you visited Abako? Hmm? Abuki no be Did it have anything to do with Olama and her baby? No. I don't think so. Be it as it may, the baby must die. And so is she. I have found where she is. She lives in a hut near the Ndede River. She has a baby with her. Find her. Kill her and the baby. Yes, Your Majesty.
Out of Ezike and Emelike. Since morning they left this palace. This is strange. Obina. Yes, Your Majesty. I want you and other guards to go in search of them. Search everywhere in this kingdom. And make sure you come back with them. Yes, Your Majesty. Is there any word from Obinna and the other guards that went in search of Ezike and Emenike? Not yet, Your Majesty. You may go now. Thank you.
to kill you and your baby and OBDK intervened and this resulted to this bloodbath why would they want to kill you and your baby I wish I knew this story is all strange Even you people, regaining your sight. However, we must take words to Her Majesty, the Queen. But be rest assured, she will not believe this story. And I also believe you realize what that means for you. We must take these corpses. As for BDK, you take care of it. has been in a terrible state of late. Considering the critical health issues of our king and the strange death of our chief priest, Habakkuk, I think uh, we need answers from the gods. We have spoken my mind, or no? We must consult Akreka, the great Divya, for questions. Elders of Amoye Kingdom, I quite understand your point clearly. Let us look at it from the natural point of view. We all know that my husband got ill as a result of the shock he got from the loss of our baby. And as for the chief priest, Abako, I believe he angered the gods and they struck him. We are not supposed to be bothering ourselves, thinking on how to call the uh, uh, Akreka, the great 
Dibia. What we should be talking about is how to make the king get well soon. I think she has a point. That's it. As the only one of this kingdom, I still insist we consult Akrika. What a miracle! Here comes the Akrika we are talking about. <laughs> Welcome, wise one. Greetings, the people of Amoye Kingdom. Nguku had heard your cry and the puzzles of your heart. Abako, his late servant, committed a great atrocity that cost him his life. Evil, blackmail, Conspiracy. False who? A mother has been conceived by an evil heart. Whoever is guilty must confess. Old man. What are you talking about? How dare you accuse the royal household for a crime like this? I am only a messenger and the mouthpiece of the gods. My tongue is not mine. The gods cannot speak ill of royalty. Perhaps the ways of the gods to Whoever that is guilty must confess. I committed the evil. The gods cannot lie. Obina, Mora, what happened to them? Oh no, we found them lying dead in a faraway hut by Mdede River, where Olama lives with her newborn baby. They lay next to Obidike's corpse. She said they came to kill her and her baby before she was saved by Obidike who also lost his life in battle. <laughs> How innocent blood I wasted for the sake of this evil woman. <laughs> that child, that child must be found. We all know that the blood of that child is the blood of the king and the hell to the throne of Amon.
Everything that happened, my daughter. We have come to take you and the baby. So, stop shedding tears. So, that was what happened, my daughter. But you may know, we are some here. He is of great importance to us. And to the people of Anoe. We apologize for all the evils that was maimed on you. Please, you should come with us. I beg you. As Obidike, we will give him a befitting burial and a title even at death as the savior of our future king. Now you know. My daughter. It is very unfortunate to hear that King Omekasu is critically ill. However, I do not wish to return to the palace or to Amoye land. <laughs> not after all the pain, all the trials, the sufferings, betrayals, and afflictions that I have gone through on account of them. This this is where I belong now. This is my home. And I do not want to go anywhere else. That's all to You know how you feel. But for the sake of God, I personally want to beg you to forgive and forget whatsoever that happened in the past. Consider our apology. You know the fate of the king and the entire Amoe kingdom lies on your palm through this child on your arms. Do not turn your back on us. Save us. Save your own people. I 
I move. I got it. Zip a book. For a title man like me. You know, if I boy a kinder to do this. But I want you to see the pains, the consequences. Should you turn your back on us? On behalf of the king, the entire inhabitants of Amoye Kingdom, I plead with you once again. Forgive us. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. Please forgive us. They have finally answered our prayers. The king is hell and hearty. Oh, may the gods be praised. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to life, your highness. Thank you, Bono. Bono, how long have I been lying in there like rotten vegetables? Very long. Very long, Your Highness, to have missed a mistress around the kingdom. Oh no. How is my thing? Your Highness, it's a long story. Come sit. We have been waiting for two years. Oh no, what is it you said we are waiting for? <laughs> Highness, I have a very big surprise for you. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Here comes the surprise. Is this not all I'm at? What is she doing in the palace? She was ostracized. Igwe, as the Ono has already said, she is no longer guilty. Here comes the prince of Amoye Kingdom, the heir to your throne. This is how it all happened. the God for a day like this. I can thank all of you enough for your productive and noble efforts. In seeing to the affairs of the kingdom, when I was physically incapacitated due to my illness. I thank you more especially 
for sanitizing the palace of the likes of the evil queen. I thank the gods for their intervention and for giving me a son and heir when it seems all hope was lost. I thank all Amma here for her perseverance and forgiveness after all we did to her. To further appreciate her role in my life and to the future of this great kingdom, I want to inform all of you here present that I want to make her my wife. The queen of Amoye Kingdom. Please, Olema, what do you say? For the future of this great kingdom lies in your hands. What we have is priceless No sacrifice is too much From me to you They know It's up and it's not secret What we have is sacred And I love you I don't care What anybody would say I don't care Oh no Right in your arms is where I wanna be Come rain, come shine This is from me to you I will love you oh, oh, you love me oh, oh, I will go through oh, oh, for you From me to you They can't stop me yeah. They can't stop me They can't stop what we share Give us a run, I'm a bunny. 